In today's video, we're going to be going over the play Durham out of the Gun Bunch Strong Offset Formation in the New York Jets Offensive Playbook. We have a full ebook on this formation in our Patreon. If you want to get access to that, link's going to be down in the description for just $10. You can get access to my full uh, New York Jets Offensive ebook, really primarily focusing around this Bunch Strong Offset Formation, which is new in Madden 24, and I believe probably at least the top two or three offense in the game, if not the best offense in this game, because you have a lot of things you can do. Now, the setup for this play is we're going to put our tight end on a drag. We're going to put our running back on a streak, and we're going to put our slot receiver on a slot apprentice post route. And what you're going to see here is this just spaces the field really, really well. You have a high low to the left side of the screen, and then you have kind of a seam concept to the right side of the screen. Now, one of the things I did want to point out uh, about this play, it kind of depends a little bit on how they're wanting to defend you. One of the things I've noticed a lot of people are doing is these cloud flats on the uh, right side of the screen. And what you can see here is this wheel route. You can throw this on a snap throw if it's not a hard flat. So if it's a curl flat, if it's a, if it's not a hard flat, guys, you can throw uh, this little snap throw wheel route to your uh, slot receiver here on the right. You see that's a curl flat. Please look at that. Um, that's a really good read, and it forces them to have to shade, uh, to have to shade their coverage outside and underneath. So when they go to start shading their coverage, then what you're gonna, your next progression is gonna be to your running back, right? And then you're gonna be looking to the drag and the post. Now the post is really the main route on the play and it's the route that they are gonna have to use or defend. So as you can see right there, it beats baseline press cover four drop. It's also gonna do a really good job of uh, taking advantage of double Mabel coverage. A lot of people don't understand that these wide, when you run a post from the short side uh, to the wide side this year, it's going to do a really good job of basically just attacking the double Mabel coverage. So you'll see here, if I was setting up a, a cover three Mabel style of defense, then what we would be able to do here with this post is we would just throw this before he gets to that cloud flat defender and we can kind of hit it at that numbers mark over there on the left-hand side. So they're going to have to kind of user it, right? We're basically kind of forcing them uh, to have to user the post route. And typically their user is going to stand right here because if they're running dollar, oftentimes this guy is going to be blitzing um, or he might be in a yellow zone, but most of the time they're going to want to user this defender, right? So if they do that, and I'll show you what happens even if they don't do that, if they choose to use that defender, then what you're able to do is replace that post with this running back streak right up in the seam area of the defense. Now, another thing that you can do with this is let's say that they aren't wanting to do that. Let's say they're going to try to use her weak side with this defender here um, and so that they're able to keep this, you know, shade out, shade underneath hook curl defender. While the shaded out, shaded underneath hook curl defender is effective, it will not cover the running back for a, the duration of the route. You can throw right in behind it, and if you possessing possession catch that, a lot of times you're going to be able to avoid any kind of KO defender. Now, another thing that makes this, I think, a really good play is, depending on kind of what they're doing defensively, a lot of people like to run cover two against this formation with cloud flats to try to stop some of your short corner routes and things like that. This wheel route on the right side, as you can see, he will actually really manipulate a cover two coverage. And the main reason why is because the running back streak will pull the deep half defender to the middle, and then it's going to leave that wide open over the top. Uh, and then another thing that people like to do sometimes, depending, it just kind of depends on the adjustments they're making. But one of the things that I find a lot of people like to do is uh, they will basically, they'll either A, they'll do some cross man stuff, or B, they'll use these cloud flats. And the reason they want to use these cloud flats is because they want to try to defend your short corner routes, your C routes, stuff like that. The beauty of this is they're not going to be able to do that on the left. So if they don't, if they don't have a hard flat on the left and a hard flat on the right, then we're going to be able to really uh, take advantage of that. So I'll show it to you one more time here. Kind of got crazy screamed at. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. These practice mode uh, pass rushers are definitely the best pass rushers in the game. But you see here, see how you can just throw this on the sideline, turn up field, and get about 10 to 15 yards. So this just does a really, really good job against a lot of different things that people are going to want to do. One last thing I wanted to show you uh, on this slot apprentice post route that I do think is important to discuss is if they are running you know, a, a cloud flat there on the left, if that's not coming from a backed off cloud flat, it's not going to get back far enough. So you're still able to hit that over the top of that. 
I guess one other thing I did want to cover is basically just, you know, how does this play work uh, specifically against man to man? So we'll just go to a basic man coverage here. So again, this is just a, a standard uh, man coverage and we'll just use with this guy. But essentially your reads, the main routes that you're going to have against man is your running back. You're going to have your running back, your tight end and your drag. I really think the drag is probably the easiest read against man coverage. The slot apprentice post is pretty good too. And then another thing that a lot of people like to do, let's say they're trying to send some pressure at you, right? And they're going to play some man coverage. A lot of times what they're going to do here is this guy is going to be manned up onto the running back. And then this guy is going to be manned up on the tight end. And they're going to try to get their, uh, basically get their blitz home and then user underneath, right? So if we're able to get a split second to be able to make a throw here, number one, your tight end route's going to get open, but your running back, as you can see, when that, that streak will crucify man coverage if there's no safety help over top. So just wanted to show that, um, and that's one of the beauties of the running back streak this year. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, join the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.